Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This tutorial is a part two of this Lush Mandala painting. So please watch part one video to see beginning process. Also, please like my video and press the subscribe button to support my channel. Let's start with the fourth row. I'm going to take some different tones of green to create a fade in this leaf. Sequence of green fade will be Moonstone, Duckling, Snow Pea, Festive Green, Crystal Green, Teal, Blue Sapphire.
right, let's add some more beauty in the middle with 3D puffy dots. Guys, I have a separate video for that, but I will show you really quick how to make cone for puffy dots. I am mixing gloss heavy gel with Mother of Pearl by Martha Stewart. Filling up my cone, now tape it, your cone is ready. Don't forget to practice on a paper before you start on canvas. Please do not tilt your canvas for 3-4 to four hours or the puffy dot will slide down. Or you can simply make some puffy dot on a silicone mat and then stick on your canvas. Now you can draw some freehand swirls to give a royal touch in your painting. Guys, when I was a little girl, I used to doodle in my notepad with swirls and mandalas. I was just wondering, how many people are there like me? Please comment what you used to doodle in your childhood or now. loving these swipes so I decided to add some more with different color tones let's see what's the sequence for this one Pacific iris purple yam periwinkle pearl eclipse moonstone Here is an empty part which I wanted to fill up with some random dots. Believe me, this is really fun. You don't have to think anything about the size of the dot. Just dip once and dot three to four times. I feel like adding more petals in the third row. This is not a fade. 
I'm just using my favorite pearl paints. You will find the details in the description box below. Let's start filling up the all four corners of the painting that will sure add depth in it. I filled my cone only with the four cut metallic gold. It's not blended with any other medium because the paint itself is a heavy body paint. Guys, please watch my video how to mix paint for acrylic cones. That will give you the better understanding for acrylic cones. Here is the link. As you can see, I have left about 2 inch of space around my mandala. I'm going to fill up the space with mother of pearl to create an aura around it. I will then blend this with light gold and gold dots. But before I create an aura, I want to add red and green dots with gold. Mm 